Oh, hey YouTube. As if I didn't know I was about to record. This is Dion. Today is April 30th. My lips are forever dry. I'm going to try and go through this quickly. I just wanted to show you guys what I purchased with the 20% off um, Sephora sale. I did get two lip products, among a few other things. <laughs> I got the Bite Weekly Lip Scrub. I haven't even opened it yet. My lips have not recuperated from winter. I, they need help. The sugar scrub I use has not been enough lately. So I purchased the lip scrub. You use once a week. If you guys would like reviews, oh, it has a little scoop. If you guys would like reviews of these products once I use them, let me know. And I'm not, yeah, I was going to say I'm not going to open it, but I am because I don't want to take up a lot of time. And so I am pretty sure that I will, I cannot get the lid on straight. There we go. I am pretty sure that I will use that tonight and also the nighttime lip therapy also by the brand Bite Therapy. Bite Beauty, excuse me. So this is the lip therapy, which also comes with a little scoop, which is nice because then you don't got to dig your fingers in it like the other scrub I have. Looks like a balm. Faint lemony smell. Hopefully it's not too strong for me, the fragrance. And this I will use probably every day. The other thing I purchased, I purchased the Fenty... 190 bronzer brush it looks like this because I washed it I always wash brushes as soon as I get them because I do have sensitive skin so it looks misshaped and not fluffy because it is still wet so I'm excited to use that with the Sunstalker bronzer the samples I picked up was the Kills powerful strength line reducing concentrate 12.5 percent vitamin C and hydraulic acid this is a face product and the other sample I purchased was the Dr. Brandt needles no more no more baggage we will see because you guys know this is my matching luggage <laughs> bags over here and my solitary bag over there so we'll see if this helps that right now my face is completely clean I washed it I don't even have one moisturizer have one nothing the big ticket item I purchased oh my goodness <laughs> and you guys have seen this on YouTube, the Mademoiselle um, 10 piece lipstick set. If you guys want to see how these shades look on me, just let me know for color reference. Um, the MAC powder foundation is Studio Fix Plus. I am an NC42 or NC43 or NC45, depending on what type of year. Um, the cover effects, I can wear the G60 all year round, but in the summer I do definitely need to use a bronzer with it. But I like that one because I can use one foundation all year round. The other two items I purchased, I went ahead and got the number 330 and also the 310 in her foundation. Both of them kind of work, but I'm thinking I'm a mix, and so I'm going to try it. And I only was okay with buying them both because the 20% off sale because I don't want to buy two bronzers at the price that these are. So this is the three, I am losing my marbles. So this is the 310 and I have a glass thing here and we'll see what this looks like on my face. So that is the 310 and we're going to put the 330 which I have used in a few videos and it does look okay once I blend it out and put on powder and blush and all of that this is kind of runny maybe I need to shake it up more oh man and this is the 330 on this side whoa So looking at it, ironically, well no, the 330 is a little more red than the 310. So what I'm going to do, I have two sponges. And so just really quick, this is the 310. Which really matches like the, well, let's see when it dries. Because it just does dry down. I'm 
thinking just a tad tasty, but so it's kind of iffy, you know? So that's the 310. I'm going to leave a little skin exposed so we can really see what the color looks like against my actual complexion. So that's the 310, taking a clean one, scoop, scooping up some of this wet 330. I do like the finish. And this is there, like right here in the middle. I do like the finish of this foundation. I'm just iffy on the color in person. I do know, as most of us know, things can look one way on camera and look a different way in person. You know what? I should have left more bare skin so I could have mixed it, right? <laughs> that would have been a smart thing to do. Oh, I could go grab a wet one and mix it and see. And so... In the middle of my forehead, you can see my complexion. And here's the 330. I know I'm all up in your grill. So this is the 330. And you can see my skin here. And this is the 310. And you can see my skin here. So what do you guys think, the few of you who are... <laughs> <laughs> watching my videos and so I do think that the 330 is a little too red my computer screen just turned off which was giving me a little bit of light and so I do think they both can work this is bare skin if I make sure I cover everything I'm going to turn off the camera and um, get a wet wipe, wipe this off, and then come back and do the mix and see if that's less of a difference. Hey, I'm back. So I cleaned off the 310, I cleaned off the 330. So I am going to flip the 310 sponge over. This is the 330, this is the 310. So I am just going to run them together, blend them together. And let me know what you think about this mix. Because if they're not going to work, and if I have to make them work at this price, I will return it and just stick with <laughs> the CoverFX PowerPlay G60. The guy at Sephora told me that. He said, if you're happy with the CoverFX 360, just keep using what you're using. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. But you know how we are. We always want to buy new stuff and try new stuff. Especially when it's like all the rave on YouTube. Oh my. Yeah, we need to blend. Well, not we, but I. I, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And it looks so different like once it dries down. So it's... Uh, you can't just put it on right away and say yes or no. You gotta kinda wait for it to settle. For it to dry. So what are you guys thinking? I should have took a picture earlier, right? Of the 310 and the 330. And then take a picture of the mix. Okay, excuse my favorite bags. Okay, so this is my skin. This is the 310, 330 mix. 
I can tell where it is and where it's not, which means that it's not the right shade because the right shade, it will completely blend in and you won't be able to tell where it is and where it's not. And so I do know even mixing it, it's not my shade, even though it can work. I would just have to really make sure I get it everywhere because otherwise it'll be noticeable that there's foundation on. My goal is not a flawless look. My goal is just to have my face one shade until I put on the blush and all of that other stuff. And I do like my freckles and so I, I love that they still show through. So what do you guys think? Is this passable? Is this mix a good mix? Or should I just give up and just stick with the cover girl, not the cover girl, the cover effects. The mix, my skin, my forehead, the mix, my skin. Is that a good mix? Let me know. Thanks guys for watching. So subscribe to be eligible for future giveaways. When I hit 50 subscribers, I will do a giveaway. I was reaching for my cross pendant on my necklace, but I had my mammogram I'll just say it we're women right we're grown <laughs> and so I took it off because they always have me take it off and I have a habit of touching it and playing with it and I'm babbling but it's not on so that's what that was about I'm not like having like a stroke or anything so let me know what you think and also if you want to see what these colors look like on me thank you for watching and you'll see me in the next video bye